In your seven years in the industry, have you ever failed in a scene? Nope. Really? I got close one time. Wow. Can you one tell us about the close? One time. Yeah, I was shooting in Arizona for a company, and it was just everything that could go wrong that day did. Mm -hmm. The director and the girl got into a fight. I had to play therapist and break that up and make sure she was still good to shoot. Jesus Christ. Personalities don't always yeah. collide well on set. So they were having miscommunication issues and she started crying and I calmed her down and then we got through the scene and she had a sponge in. So it wasn't the most pleasant mm -hmm. to shoot that day. The only lube they had on set was a lube that actually makes my dick go numb. Mm. I don't know why this lube does it. I don't know what's in it. I've researched it. Uh, I really don't understand it. I'm it's not, not spunk, is it? It is. I wasn't going to blast them, but yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. I've heard that from other people. I know. Yeah. But not, spunk lube I'm not is, the only one that's had that issue. That's what it. I'm saying. I've heard that from other people. But it's great. It's a great lube for um, uh, fake cum. It looks, it looks like fake it looks cum. So that's almost identical. Yeah. But, but for that particular reason, because people are sensitive to different lubes, um, I have like a whole collection of lubes that I bring to set. Like because a good producer should. It's true. This company this only had one and it was spunk. So I was like, well, fuck it. She's got a sponge and I need something. Yeah. I'll just mentally push past the numbness. It's wow. fine. I can do that. Wow. And then, I don't know, we got to the last position or close to the last position and I just, I was struggling. Yeah. I was struggling with compartmentalizing my personal life at the time because I had some other shit going on, plus all the drama on set that day. And I was like, I got fed up and I looked at the director and I was like, I'm done. I yeah. walked off set. I was like, I'm, I'm not finishing this scene. I walked off set, walked outside, tried to compose myself a little bit, came back inside, started packing my set bag. And he, the director came over and he's like, look, we got one more position in the pop. I've shot you a lot. I know you can do it. He had more faith in my dick that day than I did. I had quit. <laughs> I, I was ready to fail my first scene. I was like, cool. I'm done. It's fine. I'll take one loss. It's cool. I don't need a perfect record. Yeah. But because he had more faith in my dick working that day than I did, I ended up going back, shooting the last position, shooting the pop, and not failing a scene. You just needed somebody to believe in your penis, Lucas. I know. I didn't. I normally have all the faith in my dick, and I did not have the faith in my penis that day. It, it really wasn't so much lo lack of faith in my dick as it was lack of confidence in where my head was at that day. Yeah. Because like I said, this job is 98% mental for male 100%. Parents. So if I don't have my head, I'm fucked. Yeah. And being all natural, I especially even more need my head. Yeah. What do you do if you show up and your scene partner is your one not attracted to her or two, she's like a total fucking cunt and is just like impossible to deal with? Like, how do you, how do you like get yourself into that, that mode where you're like, okay, I'm going to somehow find a way to get excited about having sex with this girl that I kind of can't stand. I just go, I approach it from the angle of now I have a job to do. Hmm. Regardless of what's in front of me or the chemistry in front of me, I'm still going to get my dick hard. I'm going to open up for the camera. I'm going to put on a good scene. I'm going to place the girl where she looks good to the camera. And that's how I get, it becomes a day of real work. Mm -hmm. So then of, it sounds to me like you kind of go inside. I remember there was a, a guy that I used to shoot a lot named Alan and he said that he just had like a Rolodex of scenarios yeah. in his head that he would and he'd find something that well, just, and then he'd get his dick hard. I'll find that. something about her that's attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not off the bat personally, like physically attracted to him, I'll find uh, maybe they have a sweet voice. Maybe they're funny. Maybe, you know, I'll, I'll find something and I'll just focus on that. Right. Right. And then sometimes that thing is I got a job to do. I right. got a paycheck to collect and that's going to get me through today. <laughs> so um, your perfect, no fail, double cum shot penis yes. um, was recently molded for Doc Johnson, right? It was. They, Tell us about that. They actually had to mold my balls separately. Why is that? They didn't fit in the mold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... <gasps> So that was interesting to encounter. I, was yeah. like, I, I always knew I had big balls, but I didn't realize that they wouldn't fit in a mold that's used to mold some of the biggest dicks in porn <laughs> history. I was like, come on, they, they got to be able to fit. You guys have molded like 
Brickzilla and stuff. Like, you got to be able to fit mine. Nope. Nope. You needed its own mold. Maybe Apparently. you could sell them as a sep- as a separate we set. Are, we are and then, working like, on some novelty ideas with them. I've been talking with them. It the, could be like, buy the penis and the balls. And then you have like a complete set. It's like a collector's you item. You might be able to buy them to hang on the back of your truck one day. Oh, yeah. Those guys that always hang those balls from the back of their truck. Yep. These will be authentically molded from my actual package. <laughs> So how was that? What was that experience like? Like, how do they do the mold? Like, how does that happen? Do you have to get you have to get hard for it, I assume, yeah. right? And uh, you have I, to do that I all on your own holding record. The previous one was like from start to finish of getting hard and finishing being molded like 12 or 14 minutes. Mm-hmm. I did it in eight. I didn't know that it was a competition. I didn't know it was a contest either. And then <laughs> they told me and I was like, I didn't know we were competing. Wait, does this include the ball mold? Yeah. Everything Wait, so the dick and the ball mold, two separate molds, was done in eight minutes. Was still like almost half of the original record. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's impressive. So it's really just got to do with how quick can you get hard and mm-hmm. how well can you maintain it? Because if you can't maintain it for the minute that they need it held in the mold, they have to start all over. That's true because you can't be stroking it. No, it's got to sit. Which is like that's like my method is like to sit there and stroke. Yeah, I etch myself, so I'm sitting there stroking and I essentially masturbate all day on set. Yeah, like that's really what I'm doing. Of course. So, I couldn't do that, and I was told that the solution was going to be cold, (laughs) which it wasn't. That was a complete lie. It was nice and warm. So it was warmer than some vaginas I've been in. I wonder if they have had like fails if they've tried to mold guys' penis and it just for sure had people fail. The guy asked me, he's like, do you want me to bring you a blue chew or two? And I was like, I asked him a a series of questions because I've never actually taken a Viagra or Cialis. Mm -hmm. I've never thought it was necessary. And I don't really feel like playing with my heart like that. Mm -hmm. because I know they are really bad for your heart. Mm -hmm. But he asked me and I was like, no, 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 I think I'll be good. He's Mm -hmm. like, are you sure? We don't want to have to have you come back. And I was like, no, I'm I'm pretty confident in my abilities. Yeah. I've been doing this for seven years. I've shot over 3,000 scenes, not counting content scenes, and never failed. So I think, I'm, wow. I think I'll think i be all right. Wow. 